at San Diego's Community Bible Church. My dentist, he's a fraud detector. He's got that red tablet. Ever see that thing? He draws them in with his humor, energy, and compassion. Listen, this is God's red tablet. He's just got this charismatic personality. He loves people, and I was just drawn in. He's very honest. He's very straightforward. He's got a lot of energy. What prevents you and me from dedicating ourselves to the Lord? I'll tell you what it is. They call him a man of God. So no doubts? None. None at all. Not of him, not of the church, not of God. Doesn't stop there, though. But Pastor Barry because Minko the is the is first one to tell you he's no saint. I have a long way to go. I always say I'm a liar and a thief saved by the grace of God. Never forget that. From con artist to crusader, Minko's incredible story sounds like a made-for-TV movie, only it's true. As a teen, Minko wanted to impress girls. So he started a carpet cleaning business called Z Best to make money. And uh, when I was buying, I was in. And when you're impressionable and in you know, junior, senior high, you want in. But he was in over his head. Minko turned to crime to make payroll. He stole, committed credit card fraud, and borrowed money from the mob while telling himself the biggest lie of all. All I needed to do was open another store and then we would have earned and generated enough revenue so I could pay off the mob, pay off grandma's stolen jewelry, and we keep lying uh, about this cure that we think is out there. Minko became a master at hiding debt while growing his business with phony restoration jobs and mob money. Weren't you scared? No, because I was irrational. I mean, now I know why they send like 18 and 19 year olds to, to war. I mean, because you're just not rational. At age 20, he was the celebrated whiz kid of Wall Street, the youngest person in U.S. business history to take a company public at that time. The stock in his carpet cleaning company was valued at $300 million, when in fact, it was virtually worthless. That's what fraud is, skin of the truth stuffed with a lie. Skin of the truth, we had 1,400 employees, 23 offices in three states, and television commercials. Uh, stuffed with a lie, 86% of our revenue was fraudulent. Minko planned to pay off everyone and go legit in 1988. Instead, he got caught and went to federal prison. I'm 21 years old, 25 year sentence, $26 million restitution. That's pretty much game over. Then he met Peanut, one of his cellmates in federal prison. Peanut taught Minko to stop taking shortcuts in life. We were the best of friends, and he was like, you know, a real Christian. He was, he had other options. He could have run the prison, he could have got whatever he wanted, but he chose to be a believer and live it. The two planned to start a multiracial church when they got out. It never happened. They died. They died. Those plans died. Peanut was murdered two days after he left prison for something he did years before as a gang member. He, he would say exactly that. Um, don't quit. Uh, this doesn't change anything. So Minko became a pastor at the Community Bible Church after spending seven years behind bars. Now he uses his past to reach out to those who were lost. In the past nine years, he's helped grow the church by more than 1,000 members. You know, the story of a guy who had been through what he's been through, if he can be redeemed, then, you know, I could too. But Minko's not only saving souls, he's using his criminal background to catch crooks. When I was a perpetrator, I used to fear the unknown variable. Now I am the unknown variable. He trains FBI agents and investigates financial scams himself. To date, the Fraud Discovery Institute, co-founded by Minko, has uncovered more than a billion dollars in fraud. Minko doesn't get a dime for his efforts. If you had the ability to stop a financial crime in progress that innocent people were being destroyed over, why wouldn't you? Minko has done a lot of good. Most of his critics are now supporters. That includes the prosecutor who sent him to prison and the judge who dismissed a $26 million restitution order. But Minko is still not off the hook yet. He has to pay back $7 million to Union Bank because of a lawsuit. So they have just said, you know, settle at the principal amount of the loan. Last year they got over $100,000 from me. The pressure to do it all gets to him. 
He's also a husband and father to twin two-year-old boys. There's so much going on and there's, there, there can't be enough police, there can't be enough FBI agents, there, just, there can't be enough um, authority to overlook things that are going on, oversee I should say. Uh, and um, I'm very proud of him for what he's done. Thank you, darling. Quitting is not an option. That's one of the biggest lessons he's learned in life. You can make mistakes and come back from failure. People can change. That's what the Bible teaches. That's my message. Minko has written a New York Times bestseller about his life. It's called Cleaning Up. Part of the proceeds will be used to help pay off his union bank debt. I'm Julie Iriondo, Channel 4, San Diego.